And I'm not going to take one little thing, like releasing a trailer and re-editing a trailer with females in it, as your apology. It's not good enough. It shouldn't happen in the first place. And it's the fact that it does happen in the first place that shines through how out of touch you are. We shouldn't have to tell you to redo something. Hello everyone, Tyler back once again with another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. Today, it's a bit of a different one because I'm a bit confused here, ladies and gentlemen, because Assassin's Creed Valhalla comes out in just over a month and a half and we haven't seen a whole lot of this game and it's confusing me. Now what I mean by that is, so far on the marketing we've seen a couple of trailers, some gameplay demos, which is part in the course when it comes to Assassin's Creed marketing, but there's a lot lacking when it comes to exposure in big events. This year there's been a whole lot of big gaming events, whether it be Ubisoft forward events that they have themselves, PlayStation events, Xbox events, other gaming events like Gamescom, it just, Valhalla hasn't been a big presence at almost any of them other than one of its own Ubisoft forward events that it was like the main thing there of, where we were having the first sort of gameplay reveal for it. And even then, it's been a bit of a disaster right from the beginning, and there's a lot of reasons for that, and I want to talk about that in this video. Now, the first thing I want to discuss is the main concept behind Ubisoft's marketing with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is hashtag like a Viking. This hashtag has been around since the first trailer reveal for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, the thing with this is, where's the Assassins? It's Assassin's Creed. Now, that worries me a bit. Of course, we've heard from developers that Hidden Ones slash Assassins, Order of the Ancients slash Templars, will be in this game and we just haven't seen it yet, and that's great and all, but... How's that getting me excited for this game with you telling me that when all I'm seeing is hashtag like a viking? Every demo is me raiding a village, attacking a fortress with a group of vikings. This is a huge viking fantasy marketing campaign so far. There's been one hidden blade kill in a trailer and that was supposed to be like, oh it's Assassin's Creed! Where everything else has been about vikings versus anglo-saxons, war, not stealth assassinations. Now, a lot of you are going to say this is like Black Flag was, where it's a Viking trained by assassins, the same way it was a pirate trained by assassins. Yeah, but go back and watch the Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag marketing, and in that you see in demos, parkour and free running around cities. They were talking about building Havana as an homage to Florence in Assassin's Creed 2. Edward's wearing a hood. In trailers, you had him at night climbing ropes, being stealthy, getting ready to assassinate someone. Just because he was a pirate, you still also realize he was trained by assassins and used the skills and aspects of being an assassin throughout the game. You haven't seen a single piece of this throughout the Assassin's Creed Valhalla marketing campaign. How in the world are we supposed to be excited about this? What spawned this video is the other day, this meme going around is I grew up here and people posting screenshots on Twitter of different places. Perhaps it's Grove Street from San Andreas. Now the Assassin's Creed Twitter account tweeted out we grew up here and it's a picture of Altair looking out of a viewpoint from Acre. All the responses to that tweet are people like, then why don't you make Assassin's Creed again then if you grew up here? Why don't you act like it as James put it so elegantly on Twitter the other day? Your Assassin's Creed, we get, I get, that you have different historical settings every game. And with that, you've got to market that historical setting at least a little bit. Whether it be Black Flag and that you're playing as a pirate. Whether it be goddamn Odyssey and Origins where you're in ancient Egypt or ancient Greece. I get it. This is a game with Vikings in it. I've fucking got the message from the first trailer. Now, where do you balance that with the fact that it's Assassin's Creed and you should be wearing a hood and being stealthy and assassinating targets? Where does that come into the marketing? It's just I'm just wondering, or else why are you even calling it Assassin's Creed anymore? I don't know why Assassin's Creed was on the title of Odyssey. You could have called it fucking Odyssey, an Assassin's Creed story if you want to send it in the universe. Same way as fucking Star Wars does. It would be dumb. It would be stupid. But... The game was dumb and stupid, and I don't want this to be. And my biggest problem with this whole thing is that from everything we're hearing from underneath and the inside sources and developers kind of tweeting things out or talking in interviews, the game actually sounds really good. The game also looks 
really good, apart from a few issues I see when it comes to the early builds and demos. The combat looks disastrous. Hopefully that's fixed when the main game's released. But outside of that, the world looks good. The character looks cool. I just I want to see Assassin's Creed shit in Assassin's Creed. The setting's a great idea. I have no problem with you being a Viking for a portion of the game, or even all of the game, but where does the Assassin's Creed come into it? Now that doesn't mean, oh, there's Assassins in it, or there's Templars in it. Why is it called Assassin's Creed if we are not playing as an Assassin, or even, for the love of God, a Templar? I don't care if it's the other side, but I don't want to be a bystander in this world. Or else it's a side game. Take Assassin's Creed away from it. Call it fucking Valhalla, an Assassin's Creed story. I don't care. But to market this game and call it Assassin's Creed and the hashtag is like a Viking. How about hashtag like an assassin for the love of God? And like I said, the biggest problem I have with it is that the game actually looks fucking cool. But how am I supposed to be excited about this game when I want to play as an assassin? Where I want to play Assassin's Creed, at least, with Assassin's Creed elements, with iconography. The Hidden Blade's one thing, but where's the free running? Where's the dense cities? Where's the stealth? Where's the assassinations? Where's the assassin fantasy in this? That's all I want to see, a little bit of that. And when it comes to the basic marketing, being in touch with the audience, communicating ideas, releasing trailers and demos, and also being able to express what you're going to show next and have different variances. So in this period of the marketing campaign, you want to show this aspect of the game, but then you're going to expand on this aspect of the game, and then so on and so on, a story trailer here and there, and just get some hype surrounding the game, not just random interviews all over the place, and then an overall marketing campaign that's focusing on the same shit over and over and over again. We get it, you're raiding a village, we get it, you're a fucking viking. Now you've had so much controversy also surrounding it with development issues throughout Ubisoft. Not development of the game, I mean developers and the controversy surrounding that. You lost your creative director. I get it. He was probably a massive part of the marketing campaign. I find it so weird the developers do that. You have Todd Howard that does it with Bethesda, Neil Druckmann that does it with Naughty Dog. Lots of development teams have their like head of the game as the face of the marketing and it's a weird thing to do to put these guys on a pedestal because we're supposed to trust them that if they're there the game's going to be good. And I understand the concept and hell, it works. But look at the side effects that you have had now by putting Ashraf as the face and then this controversy comes out and you have no backup plan seemingly for how to market this game. You have other developers working on it. You have great developers working on this game that are more than happy to be the face of the marketing, that should be the face of the marketing. You have a culture at Ubisoft that has come to a head here this year. You have seen it publicly, allegedly, female harassment going on, verbal, sexual, m you know, mental and physical. This so allegedly, of course, fucking allegedly. And to counteract that as some sort of way to help the movement, it took Ubisoft months and months to put out a trailer with female Eivor. It shouldn't be that hard. Those trailers should have been out at the exact same time. It's the same character, it's just male or female. But it took months of difference to put it out as some sort of special thing, and for the love of God, after all these goddamn months, you put out a special video about the Hidden Blade showing off all the cool Hidden Blade kills and the assassin that used a Hidden Blade on Twitter. And you didn't put one female assassin in there. Now, I'm not one for pandering to a specific audience just for political reasons, but for the love of God, after the months of shit you guys have managed to pull off, you couldn't be self-aware enough to be like, there's not one female assassin in this when you've got heaps of them in this franchise. It's just such a lack of self-awareness with marketing Assassin's Creed. You don't know what assassins are anymore. You don't know who your audience is anymore. And you don't know how to not be assholes. It just blows my mind. And I say you as in the high ups at Ubisoft and the marketing team of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. That's who I'm directing this to. Obviously, I know there's many, many amazing, kind, generous, um, awesome developers that work for Ubisoft and work on Assassin's Creed Valhalla specifically. But the marketing team on this game has done absolutely no favours for them. What a shit show. What's going on here? 
What's going on here? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Where's the strategy going? There's a month and a half, there's six weeks left, unless you're going to shove this game down our throats, which isn't the answer either, for the next six weeks. I don't know what your answer is. I don't know what you want me to know about this game. I already know I'm a Viking. I certainly know I'm not a fucking assassin. That's very clear. But you certainly love to celebrate your past and the assassins that have come before when it was Assassin's Creed. And every time the audience is like, oh, I miss those days. Oh, I love those characters. There's a reason every time, whether it's a community member, a content creator, a news outlet, ranks your Assassin's Creed characters that Ezio is still fucking number one. What a surprise. You mean a guy that was actually an assassin and had more than five minutes of time to invest in him? Well, you played his game and then you're like, oh, there's another game. You have more reason to replay the old game because you're like, I want to get ready for the next game. And then the game after that. And then it connected to even Assassin's Creed 1. So you're like, I want to play Assassin's Creed 1 because that connects really well to it. And now you've got these individual separate games with separate characters that aren't real characters anymore because you refuse to put a main female character as your main character that you have to have choice. Oh, choice is representation. Choice is not representation. Representation and highlighting group is representation. And you can't seem to have a female character. So you're like, let's have both so that there's no characters whatsoever. So you can't have a story that focuses on what it would be like in history to be a male in this timeline or a female in this timeline. It's no, let's have a Hus character. Let's have a Hus character. Isn't the answer either. The audience for years has been screaming at you. Screaming at you to do something. And not once, not once... Have these hives of Ubisoft done anything? They've done the exact opposite. And now they're saying they're changing. I'll fucking believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. Because right now I'm looking at Assassin's Creed Valhalla, a game that by all intents and purposes should be amazing. Everything I've heard behind the scenes, exciting. But from what you're showing me and the audience, I don't know who you're selling this to. You don't know who your audience is. And you need to get a fucking reality check. You need a reality check. You don't need to sell microtransactions. You don't need games as a service to be successful. If you want to do that, that's fine. But you've got how many IPs you can do that with? Games are bought based on, to the casual audience, their friends playing them. My friends that barely buy video games haven't bought Assassin's Creed forever because I tell them, don't. And that's how common gamers work. That's how casual gamers work. They listen to their friends that play a lot of games. What should I buy? You should buy God of War, man. You should buy The Witcher 3. You should buy this, that, or the other. I'll tell you what, you're not going to buy Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm not telling my friends to buy that game. Why? Why would, when I have the, like, 20 people that come to me regularly once a year, oh, what are you playing at the moment? What are you playing at the moment? What are you playing at the moment? I'll tell them, buy Cyberpunk. Buy something that's going to be really cool experience and something you've never played before. Not Valhalla. Not Odyssey. Not even Origins. Not Syndicate. Not Unity. Honestly. Where's your identity? You've changed it 17 times, and there hasn't even been 17 games. It's insane to me. And I'm, I've had it up to here with it. I didn't think I cared this much until I turned on this camera and started recording. I just wanted to talk about what a disaster the marketing's been. Because it has been a disaster. And here I am, spouting off truth about how you don't know your audience. You're half in one way and half in another way, and not in at all in the main way of being a goddamn assassin. And I'm over it. I've been over it for the past seven years. And I've been doing YouTube for eight. I've been making content covering this franchise for over eight years. Since Assassin's Creed 3. And I'm over it for almost the entire time. But I'm still here. Because I actually understand the audience. And I listen to them. And someone's got to say something. And that's what... I have been, that's what so many other content creating community members have been. I'm not here to praise the little good things you do and the load of shit that's been done. 
I'm here to be fucking mad at you for not getting it right for so long. And I'm not going to take one little thing like releasing a trailer and re-editing a trailer with females in it as your apology. It's not fucking good enough. It shouldn't happen in the first place. And it's the fact that it does happen in the first place that shines through how out of touch you are. We shouldn't have to tell you to redo something. We shouldn't have to tell you, hey, you do realize after all of the years of allegations that you've just had thrown at you, maybe don't leave out female assassins in your little video. Maybe, maybe be in touch with the audience. Holy shit.